you're, the matter, an, you're an idol. The matter, we don't try. You're an idol. We Conga. God is great. Bro, I don't even know where to start from because back to back, back to back. Jobless! Bro, <laughs> you are the you are one of the ones that opened this door Jobless, up. I beg. Uh, I no, 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 bro. Go. You opened this door up for okay. the whole of the youngest men. I don't know where we want to start from, but I want to talk about everything. My brother, you know, you know, to be honest with you, yeah, I most time when I wake up, I give thanks to most high because, you know, for God using me to use uh, using me as a tunnel, like a channel for for that I could be able to reach out and you know empower or support any certain career that you know that no, this person need push. Hmm. Not just uh, so we say, well, you say just get talent and you you just um probably selfish about it or you couldn't help the person because probably he's not greeting you no matter that doesn't help stop you from doing what God sent you for that certain person. Because hmm. to be honest with to be honest with you, man, I'm just happy like I started with like hmm. Make say God use me like I'm happy and to I'm see happy you. to be the first time like <laughs> I'm able to do like myself and I know do like that so happy to <laughs> see you and you jobless <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to see whoa, you bro whoa, after how many years bro no be honest with me after how many years I'm can you remember when last we've seen each other yeah it's part it's more than ten years more than ten years you know. Well, I know you're doing big things around the world. <laughs> I, know. I know, you know. We could see at the end of the day, bad day, wow. bad day. But man, wow. Wow. Um, to sit down with you, believe me, is a privilege, man. Well, honestly, same here. It's a privilege. Same here, same here. To be honest with you, same here. Where do we want to start our conversation? I don't know, <laughs> because, like I told you, like I, you know, when I, when I, when, when I saw you, the first thing that I could picture is where we started from. From. You know, I remember you in a bus, me and you. We go squeeze ourselves last Sunday. A lot of Ajaza is in the bus. Mm. Uh, do you remember this picture? Larry K. Larry K. Larry, Larry K. K. Now, we that one bus we go day. All the artists they go say they give us package, but they will squeeze us with me. A lot of Ajaza nice. Uh, a whole lot of artists. I remember that picture. Before we get to where we are going, some people fainted on the road. And only the strongest survive to even do the whole show. And in the end, they will give you peanuts. They will say, oh, don't Prince, worry, you know. Do you, do you have an idea of what it's talking about? <laughs> we are on a tour. You don't get it. We are on a tour, right? Wow. On the tour, eh? <laughs> they load all of us in a bus. Mm. We are going to see this from one city the to another. The bus has no seat, though. There's no seat in that bus. So all of us sit in the on back. On the ground. When we got to the first location, mm. by the time they opened the door, mm. AY Flavor has fainted. Yes. It, don't, it faint real life. I never see people faint, sir. I thought, you know, people are faints and you faint. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because, you know, I just, I just Bro, those days now. are insane. I don't, know, I don't know how they street, how they faint. You know, it's street, is real, it's real life. It's real. If you don't have talent, don't go for it. It's mm. real. We go... We go 100. I even remember, I could picture again when I used to bring you guys to do show in a booty meta. Yeah. <laughs> to come and perform. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Oh, God, I beg God. I used to carry stage on my head when I used to motivate a whole lot of boys, like, let's go do this show. Don't worry, this one, this will be, this will work while. In the end, after like about fourth or five, fifth episode of the show, because we used to do it every Sunday. Yeah, every it's Sunday. Don't yeah. show money show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to bring a lot of I bring you yourself, mm -hmm. you've been there. Uh, like uh, I remember um nice singing, uh, his first single then before the Gongo. So that was Angela. 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 <laughs> Would you be my wife? Yes. Would that guy just release that song? Mm -hmm. Can you just let me tell nice? Any day when you release that song, eh, that Again. song still <laughs> No no no. He never released another that song stand out. It'd be like African Queen. Yeah, I think he never released that song. He Angela. never released that song. Released I used Angela. to fight him. Man Baja do lack me. I like release this bear do. <laughs> ah! But then um, uh, it's <laughs> it's thank God for a day like this. Thank uh, God. 
Alaba of that year has become a digital distribution where all of us can end. Uh, well, yeah, we are now seeing the light mm, of it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Baba, there was one day that I tweeted that some people planted the seed, right? Mm. And they actually, they are there every day to wet it. Mm -hmm. And the seed became a tree or becomes a tree now that so many people are sitting under that tree yeah. for the shades. That's true. Right? You are part of the people that planted that seed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, me, I try my little part of the matter and so many people also move, I mean, uh, motivate this movement, you know. Um, like I said, like I started with, I just can't stop thanking God for everything. Yeah. And special shout out to the heroes hmm. to the heroes that have also fallen in the fight in the fight it's, it's a big one, one that green shout out to that green you know RRP. no more loss RRP, my bro ojb yeah you know yeah these people really they did know, a whole lot they they did a all major role hmm. bro no joke we're just talking about the tour we me you all hmm. of us we used yeah. to go it was an that event that those shows then we are not seeing any no major cash but for us to be on that platform to be able to explore our talent to different universities you know we yeah, going we're to, going to we're univers going to different universities, universities yeah and you now see that among us if you're not doing well this month and probably your song is not up to that standard you will try and do a better song mm -hmm. so that you can perform better the next one <laughs> in, the, in the, that mode yeah what i learned i'm just telling you what i learned that that vibe that experience made us work harder hmm. even when we are not seeing or benefiting something Anything tangible from it. yeah yeah like i said mm -hmm. some people fainted like you, you remember his name hey, why, yeah, are you yeah yeah i fainted. fainted and so many i think one of that so guy many, too so many so many activities we might be performing our shows they will just shoot so yeah. different activities and all that and we'll, we'll you know roll. God is great. <laughs> God is great. bro when you had your when you had uh, the first one yeah the first one was baby conga right yeah that was the first big one mm -hmm. right how did it how what was the story behind it wow okay so um i don't really say this on on live but i'll this, share this because no. this is real this is we like we start like this is home. you know what it is funny enough you know <laughs> where that place is that don't show uh that way we used to do the show mm -hmm. and um i would have been super excited to say this but i lost my mom december just um four or five months ago uh -oh from here so uh that's like my inspiration because mm. she taught me the language she actually made me understand her come okay let me tell you let me just mm. she before then the may, day, may the i still day, rest the in day. peace can we can we have like a minute uh, of yes, minute silent for oh man god can we so rest in peace thank you <laughs> i know your mom is your big backbone uh, you know so i know how mm -hmm. that feels you know mm -hmm. so she passed december last year yeah that was december 26th wow yeah everybody was celebrating but then that was a day of my life that you know but then you know may I change to beautiful you know so so rest in perfect peace yeah, I'm so I'm sure she's in a, she's in a very very happy place <laughs> and she's always over you mm -hmm. because I know even those days when we were moving doing those tours and doing those shows 
is always your mom. Now, yeah, baby, she, uh, she, she's, she's always calling, trying to check up this on you. Woman, this woman will, this woman was, sh- the day she sent me to the market and she wasn't too boy and then she said, come, you know that place I took you to that day? Take this 100 naira, go to that market, buy this 50 naira and buy that 50 naira and bring it home. I bought meat 15 hours that year. That was about maybe 18 years ago. I can't really mm. remember. But it's been very long. No, 18 years now. Like 20, the more, that is long time. More than 20 years ago. More than 20. So, mm-hmm. and I went there. I bought that meat. I bought okra and something like pepperish stuff. Mm-hmm. She asked me to buy. To buy and I delivered it this, that day, that night. I was eating. And I subconsciously, ah, this is Solana, this is okra. Mom, don't tell me that is the food you asked me to go and buy. Bro, if you taste that food, oh God. <laughs> this woman taught me everything I know. She taught me, um, I shouldn't let anybody tell me anything. I'm born to be a star. Mm. I should just go for it. She taught me how to speak that language. And that was the language that actually defined Konga. She taught me the Eno, Eno language. Yeah. In the kitchen. Hmm. She taught me everything I need to know. Hmm. It was so painful. I couldn't. I yeah. couldn't just make her happy. I couldn't do. I couldn't. I couldn't. No, uh, Baba, bring her out of that. <laughs> yeah, Baba. Baba. I I oh, understand what you're saying. No, but Baba. God damn. Oh no! I know. I know. I know. This is emotional, but. <laughs> I know uh, it's good, Baba. She's in a good place. That's the only thing we, we just <laughs> we just need to keep praying for her. But I'm sure she's in a good place. <laughs> I know. I know your mom is a big part of you, but uh, I was fine. bad. I was bad. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making me get emotional too. <laughs> I was about putting out on a skit on my track. <laughs> God. <laughs> I was about even telling her that I would, I would release this album, then I'll make her happy for the rest of her life. God, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Baba. Oh, ma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I bought something. <laughs> yeah. Fine, bro. Oh, God. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You know I love you, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Thank you, man. Let's put it together, you know. <coughs> yeah. Thank you, Danger Boys. But you are, you know, I used to tell my guy, I say, Conga is not an icon, no. Conga is an idol. The industry yeah. needs to, they need to worship people like you in this industry because you pave the way for a whole lot of, <laughs> a whole lot of youngies, man. I know the roll call. So when people like you sit with me, I, I feel so privileged and I feel so happy that I can even sit down <laughs> and talk to you because, Baba, I'm telling you. Oh, um, <laughs> <you>, I know. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. Mama did good place. She's fine. Oh, and she's watching over you. I pray. She's watching over you, Baba. She is watching I over pray, you. Man. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, God. man. You know that you put so many guys on the on, on 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 this platform. There's a whole lot of guys that people don't even know what you've done. You know because you hardly talk, you hardly even grant interviews. <laughs> you know, but I know what you've done in this industry. I know how many people you you brought up, put them out there, and they are big today. You know, so we we as an industry even if you don't see it i'm sure a whole lot of people appreciate you they appreciate what you've done yeah, we know you are a fantastic human being and i love you i love you baba i love you man you know you're you're one of the ones that i don't fuck with anytime any day i'll tell you you say that nigga that's a g I that's a real g <laughs> to be honest with you yeah like you know I appreciate the fact that, you know, I mean, like, look at you, jobless, hmm. you know, you took me around 
today like i said i'm super excited to be in your company mm -hmm. seeing what you are your visions are for yeah. nigerian music yeah you know mm -hmm. as a whole mm -hmm. and like i said there are some other people also working so hard putting their energy putting their lives on the line yeah a lot of our fans don't know what we go through they don't behind know behind the camera they don't know the sacrifice we do yeah the things we do to mm. just to satisfy them mm. i've been in so many situations where i'll be performing on stage and i'm sick mm. i mean having chronic sickness like maybe i wouldn't be able to perform or my doctor will be telling me i cannot perform but because your fans need to see you out there no consign show promoter you don't call them money i like yeah i don't pay you go yeah, give me it now do your shit yeah yo you have to do your job you yeah. have to do what you have to do you know but then but there is there is there is an energy behind conga that i cannot define bro have you ever sat down and watch yourself on stage <laughs> like just sit down and watch you do your thing on stage you are a, you are a you are a train <laughs> a moving train that <laughs> You know, there's there, there's <laughs> there's an artist right now that is doing very well, right? Yeah. And I know that eighty percent of his presence on stage was from you, and that's my doctor. Maybe you never talked about my it. No, no, a lot of my fans said it. A lot of eighty percent of know, um, the presence was what he learned from people like you. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, the movement, the way that there's no stage that is big. <laughs> that's the rule there's no state that is me. you that's kill rough. everything that's from rough. one point uh, man insane this what you are saying actually reminds me of just back then when we had i know some people will know about this show we had a show in kuramo okay that was before the i think um before the um before kenny's music bring their show their kenny's music Easter fiesta, fiesta down to um Kuramo, Kuramo, yeah. Kuramo, Kuramo used to, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was a show we did in Kuramo before they brought the show, just right before they brought the show. Uh, so um, they, I was, was, I was supposed to be performing back to back with Remy Aloko. Okay. You know, uh, I think Kaba Kaba was big and everywhere was. Yeah. Know, then um. Ah, Kaba Kaba. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I was to perform. Remy was to perform first. I told him to perform. He said I should go first since everybody was craving out loud yeah. to see me and all that mm -hmm. so i'm like okay as i said go stage hmm. <laughs> what happened the first the first bass ba -ba -bum, ba -ba, my intro and mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. all my boys was so much that instead of them to be venting some people to go down mm -hmm. the crowd the most of the boys were all up on stage with me mm. trying to make sure yeah we're good baba the stage first shake like this <laughs> people that were there will tell you this you know my energy now yeah. after they move as they move as they move i say hey and me i don't really see say this movement <laughs> <laughs> bro i was working on people's head before i because i already know i had to leave the stage make i not go follow them crash yeah so the, so the I was stage crashed working on people's head before I could make my way through. Oh, my. That was where people, they caught me on tape though. <laughs> <laughs> the stage collapsed. Yeah. It's one of my memorable stage performances. That Woo! I don't forget. Because the the energy, the vibe, my oh God, oh my brother, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a sport man. I can't, it's, it's, it's all from, you know, as an artist, you need to always be fit or mm. whatever just like as i'm making an example of yeah you might be sick you might some you know you have to you, uh, yeah. you know we need all the energy yeah. you know you know you know there's this story that you actually you were the act you were the one that actually um brought one day on board you know um i'm sure a whole lot of people read about it but i want i want the roof story what's what's that one day story because i knew one day used to be a dancer in lag right and how did you how did you come into the picture uh jobless mm. honestly to be honest with you i 
I really don't really want it to be honest with you. I don't want to talk about one day again. Uh. So I don't want it to be talking about it because mm. it break my heart that people I care for, people I look out for, I went out of my convenient zone. Do you know that day when I want to introduce one day to Don Jazzy and the band? Before that time, me and they quickly forget something. You know, I remember you even yeah. before this interview, mm-hmm. some pictures yeah. that you yourself you'd be like, Whoa. Yeah. Before that event in the afternoon, I tell one day, I wanted to invite you to the show and I wanted you to be around. Because you know, say I did, me, I'll be all around. Yeah. I'll be studio hunter. I yeah. hunt any studios to back in the days. Yeah. And I know what's up and what's not. There used to be dancers most times when I used to go perform in Unilags, yeah. More Mio, mm-hmm. Amino Hall. All on the all, all those places and yeah. all that, even at um, the other school opposite um, Unilag, um, yeah. um, in that college, that college, yeah. you mm-hmm. so that was the place I really saw one they co perform with the group, and he was dancing. And suddenly, in Colin Mike, I said, ah, How can somebody get a voice like this in this Nigeria way? Um, singing never really come out give they never really give people chances yeah and there's no platform for so i felt that okay well i just heard it i'm like okay then luckily for me i saw him that day i had to leave my show hmm. to go and find one day go in the sports center you know like we're having a show in the hall okay and i had to all my boys who i sent they know good go one day for me i had to leave my show and for my boys yourself. to go and look for one day he was the indie with him boys just they enjoy himself guy follow me mm. and i did it because i believe i just i just not so when i think god sent me at yeah. that moment that yeah. come you need to help this guy and the industry i did it for the industry i didn't even did it for i didn't do it for one day mm. i did it for the industry i did it for him himself mm. And I also did it for more eat. Yeah. And I've been I've been trying to digest it. I don't know if because the media now we can the media is it's it's, it's a new different ball game. It's a digital market. Yeah. Like I said, it's not Alaba when it used to dictate for us. Yes, and all that. you know. Do you I see this? Do you, do you I see the the the? Do I see this whole thing? We're supposed to be united. Mm. We're supposed to come as one, just the way. We can imagine what the comedians are doing. Mm. I saw them. The I saw what the DJs are doing. Yeah. Why can't we? And the, yeah, the music industry is music just. Industry yeah, we just don't have. Focusing on, me now, I don't think they have the same love I had for them. If you ask me, without me saying this, I think more eats. Hold me some percentage in one day calls realities. Because they fence me out. I know I don't need to brag about it, but that's the fact. In one day's reality, on these on the, all those albums they did for him, they fence me out. Also, is it because you introduced him to them? It's not because I yeah. I introduced it to them. Mm-hmm. I introduced him to them. I wanted okay. to follow up the project like yo, this is now my own boy. What's up? What's up? But they fenced me out. But without uh, being without me saying it. Without me even even got to come to this level to of saying it for how many years I didn't talk. Yeah, I didn't, Baba, without see, even me, without no, even them compass listen, without even them compensating me, say ah, hmm. Baba, you don't try. Or without even one day call coming saying the last time I was with one day call, like talk to him. The reason why I said I don't want to talk about him again. Hmm. Last year, last year fasting, Ramadan fasting. I was in fasting, and Trace TV hosted him, and I'm like, okay, my boy said I should come. I go, I went to the event. He said, ah, Papa, you know, Papa, chill with me. I said, I'm fasting. See, I need to go home. I just come to say, okay, I just come to grace your show and see how you're doing. And I, I hung out with him subconsciously, and he left me in the hotel and left me stranded and go. It's not done. I was not supposed to come and be saying this, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I did okay. I'm good. But yo, yo, guys, you're at right. Yo. Mm. Hmm. I don't I don't I'm not supposed to be saying this. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You get but there's see. Sometimes I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. But 
why I'm saying this is because I don't think one day co appreciate me introducing me. It's like as if I went to go and cage him. Because mm. I asked him and he said, ah, on, ah, can you go? The way he answered me, I'm like, bro, do you know where you are right now? Do you know where you were then? Mm. Do you know what you have achieved? That was the exact word I used for him. I said, yeah, you must definitely learn one or two things. Maybe they showed you the other, I don't know whatever happened there. But then, it is, and it is, it is, it is, look at where you, 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 you are a brand. Hmm. I appreciate them. I'm not trying to shade anybody. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, what I'm just saying in a nutshell is that, let's think about it straight. Credit is doomed to who credit is doomed you to. Too. Yeah. To doomed to. Mm -hmm. Let's start giving ourselves credit. Hmm. I guess we'll, there will not be, ah, uh, there will not be me. There will not be that. I used to talk to David, though. I used to talk to Whiskey. Whiskey is following me. I used to talk to the likes of them. What about the people I really care for? Why are they not? Are they chats on Jazzy? I've been chatting to Jazzy on Twitter, to WhatsApp, to Instagram. But why don't they reply me? Or, you know, they, but I don't care. I never yeah. said it to anywhere, but I don't like when we cannot be real to each other. I mean, I love more hits, right? Um, I love more yeah, either. No, no I love everybody. I love everybody in that. I never envy that, anybody. Yeah, I love everybody in that squad. But, and I don't like it when, especially on this show. What is I the like problem? It, yeah, I don't like it when um, anybody is called out and we are not able to define what the problem was. I don't know right? because if I if I if I Be, did something you, you wrong, you, 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 probably you, probably maybe maybe I've I've done because I'm not a perfect person. I'm not saying I'm a perfect person. Yes, nobody is. I'm only I'm only trying to what I'm the reason why I'm saying this. I don't want because I know some people who and munch some part of this program yeah, and, and they'll yeah, probably yeah, munch yeah, the yeah. interesting parts that are interesting for them. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, yeah, some people I know that's their lifestyle. But let's be real for once. Let's for be once. real, Nigeria. Mm. Let's be a move, moving train. People, the whole world are learning from us. The whole world are watching the us. I'm not watching. shading. Please, I repeat, I'm not shading anybody. I'm not shading Don Jazzy. I'm not shading Wandeko. Neither am I shading the bunch. Mm. But when you say they but fenced when you, I, when when, I, when when I, because you used the word, yes. they fenced you. Yes. You know, um, I want to believe that fencing someone, right, mm. is a little bit in deep mm. that we think. Because you don't want me to go if, deep into that part. No, 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 no. What I'm saying yes. is, if you introduce somebody to me, right, oh. God might just use you. Now, that is the purpose, yeah. right? If after introducing, mm. there is a level of business yeah. or there are conversations that, okay, well, this person that you introduce, oh, this is what we are doing. We have a mm. plan for the person. Mm. Along the line, when we are, when we, we started seeing the results of what we planned, you now fenced me. Then I can approve that, okay, that is fencing because there is a plan. I don't know if you understand okay. what I'm saying. But if it's just introduce me to you, then I'm done. So I want to understand what the fencing is about. Was there like there is an understanding between you guys on this one day's project, or there was no understanding? It was just normal. Okay, meet one day call and you're done. But you expected them. Is it just an expectation, or there is a conversation involved? Okay, there was no conversation involved. Okay, there was about to be a conversation involved. So they didn't let the conversation mm, happen. Exactly because okay. when one day moved to the house and. Maryland I was like okay let me see this through all right okay let me see this through let me try and guide my own boy and see what I can do for him along the line I don't want to go into details yeah so I had to pull back hmm okay so uh, I expect because you know every everybody in our money everybody they find yeah you cannot ex you cannot expect me to to um more especially when the industry was not really really we are we are all struggling we're all working you know you know mm -hmm. they came from uh the i mean i um, one day i remember i mean um don jazzy and the bunch they just came back from uk then yeah and i felt with the brand more it i would have said okay come one day call, come and be my backup artist but I, I can't. I'm not selfish. I want I want the best for him. Yeah. I said, no, Wandeko, join these people. Don't worry. 
but I also want to see you through, but I couldn't. But what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is that I'm not saying this because I am really, really, really interested. I've been living fine. I've been okay. You're doing good. I've been doing good. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Yeah. If I wanted to, if I really, really, really want something, I would have really, really lamented all this while. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that I did it out of love. Hmm. And I expect same thing. I've been observing some things that I don't, at least not even talk today. But I want, I want, I would appreciate I'm not a perfect person, and I'm not a troublemaker. I like, I like, I like that's what you do for me. You know, I don't like ammo. Mm. You know, then we good. Mm. You know, like ah, no vessel, no be no be the way they see ammo. Do you understand? But do you, do, do you think you you took it a little bit, um, a little bit personal when you said you are supposed to get part of his reality? I was supposed to, don't you think? No, to be honest, between me and you, if it was supposed to be Yankee, I didn't. I was not the one that put it up on Instagram or, or I mean, on online. Sorry, I was not the one that put it online. Yeah. People were there. It was in the public. I did it in public. I went to go and f no, no, no. Come on now. Now Lagos, we all day now. Hmm. We they find some to go chop now. They made millions, billions up, up, up on that uh, all those albums now. On the uh -uh, but no, they talk like ah. Uh. Hmm. Now Lagos, we day now. Uh uh don't be don't be don't be look who can't look now. Yeah. Nah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Don't be saying who can't chop for Lagos now. But I, but my joy, do you know where my joy started from? That I saw the vision and it happened. Hmm. Was when they gave one the cool award on hip hop award. I was there. That's another story for another night again. When they gave him the hip hop award, they gave they... him award so many award. I was there. I was always there. Hmm. To make you understand the hip hop award, I was I had to walk up to him on stage, like yo, I was there. My joy, that's the bigger picture I could I could foresee before the connection. So that was the joy. There was nothing more, and I thank God. Like I started with, that God used me as an instrument to channel people, and I won't stop doing it. Yeah, it's not, but it's not, just continue. One, you know. it's not just they, one. It's not just one. There's so many, many boys. So <laughs> many, so <laughs> many. My brother, I've, I've tried my little quota of it, but I also want to encourage. Forget say you the ring now. You can look at what the video is doing. I love it. Hmm. I love it. I love it in that nigga they do. You know, I'm not. I'm. I'm here for everybody. Um, what I no get any me. Um, mm. I'm just. I just want. I just want. By the strategies of God. Now that the whole world is watching us, I I really pray for the whole Nigerian artists to come together as one, so that we can actually show people how beautiful and how inspiring the world of music, the world, the passion behind music. We all we all started with passion. Mm. We all started with belief, and that notion has brought us this far. Mm. So what are we saying? Look at where we are now. The whole world, fam. The whole world before we look at we we look we used to look at them. We used we used to li listen to the old music before. Mm. We used to listen to the all those. We used to call them Western music. Yeah. We listen to all those Tupac, all those Biggie. We now you know even at, as as then me I used to listen to some of our own hip hop. I'd be like no now nah. as a hip hop head. <laughs> yeah. So those are one of the things that inspired me to come like to to come with that kind of weird sound from Baby Conga even when. Ah, oh God, I beg go. <laughs> God is good. Oh, Lord. I'll tell you. Look at Jabless. Job. <laughs> oh, man. It's a long ride. Oh, I swear. It's a li really, really ro I long swear. ride. Yeah, to be honest with you, I just believe that it's, it's, it's good when, when we, when, if we can, we've, we've been, we, we are always hard working Nigerians. Mm. Regardless of this, all this our government, where they do us like say, yeah. nah, chess, then they play, you know. But then, we know where we are coming from. Yeah. You know, we know how the hustle and bustle is. So. Do you know how many debt experience you've had in this business? <clears throat> because it gets some crazy Excuse gist. Me. There are some crazy gist I've heard. <laughs> In this business, that uh, once they say this, the conga was there. I'm like, God, you know, can you remember any? 
Remind me. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Too many things that you've experienced in this business and you you've survived it. You picture me anything with you. Hmm. Too many. Picture me. You know, speaking of which, talking of um, what I'm trying to say, like a lot of people don't know I was the one that did DJ KY's job, you know? I'm sure you were shocked as well. Like, do you know how my voice, that's kid, that was my voice. That's what KY still uses use that thing till today. Yeah, so. Do you want that DJ KY I wish, Joe, Joe, I wish, Joe. I wish DJ KY will be telling people on in, on his in live interview. I'm not, I just, we just have to be real. Mm. Let's be real. Let's, let's all come together and embrace each other celebrate each other realness on a realness ground mm. you know so you know so many i don't want to be mentioning names of activities that we've done but that's not the issue the issue right now is we've come this far i'm happy i love our industry before you 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 of all people can tell about alaba market you know when we are fighting Alaba, I know how many times <laughs> the likes of me, the likes of me, Idris Abdul Karim, that's those are legends, those are, you know, um, Daddy Shoki, um, all those old, I could, I'm sorry, I couldn't, mm. I couldn't remember their names, but we, we used to go to Asso Rock, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of artists don't know about mechanical rights. Mm. A lot of artists don't know about their their rights to yeah. their songs when they release yeah. their songs yeah. there are some rights apart from performing rights you know you know copyright and all that yeah. you know a lot of artists don't know and so they still don't know they still don't know still all these new boys know. don't yeah. know once they once you sing you just think you put your song on audio mark and you put your song on no how about the rights some people don't even or you know put what your song on boom play and you think no, yeah no, no it's more than that the publishing right there is a um, mechanical right hmm. there are so many things you you can be earning from hmm. you know those are the things we've been fighting for before the we, we managed to succeed in this digital distribution that everybody is enjoying you know you those know? days, even on iTunes, you can't even put a Nigerian song on iTunes. No, 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 because it's only as this they can only put it on and only American artists. If you're only in America, you have an account with America, that's only when you can that's what that's the leverage they had over us then those over the years. Mm. That's the only leverage they had. That's the only leverage. But after the likes of our legendary uh Majek Fashex and top-notch artists and some yeah yeah they've been able to break through the boundaries and yeah plus all this uh fighting over all this asso rock and all that they've been able to understand that come you have to reckon with our kind of sound so you guys were going to asso rock those days ah, bo, to fight for the bo, mechanical right bo, 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 bo. <laughs> God, mm. I, go. I thank god for today Sha. i thank god for today that we the the, the future is clear sorry sorry who and who Banky W said go now. That Banky W go that that year now. Banky W Shout was Banky. new. He Banky, was he was there. Yeah, he you, was there after Idris. Idris he, he, that is a lot of people. A lot of people. That the Shoki was there. Mm. I couldn't remember all these old musicians. They were there too. Mm. I can't remember their names. They were much. Their faces. Whoa. Ah. Oh, they were there, you know. So what was the conversation? Uh, MCSN and um, Coulson. Yeah. You know, it was it was it was just. We were supposed to have like uh, different people, like collecting our copyright commission, like different bodies. But it's only one person here collecting all this Everybody's money. Right. They put them, they, you know. Do you know his name? Uh, <laughs> everybody knows his name. What did you call? <laughs> everybody knows his name. I know his name too, but I won't call him. Yeah, yeah. So he's day, he, he, I know in him. day, they come. My brother, my brother, yeah. But I'm not going to talk in this. I'm like, not going to talk him today. Like, 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 what I'm trying to say when I call this my people my my fellow musician like the people i love so much these people are one they call to start with these people are whiskey davido don jazzy the band they're all my friends he you just wedded yeah congratulations to him yeah. they're all my pals. we are we are guys we are friends we used to talk and i believe the, the industry has grown so fast that i believe we can we can we can now start 
to structure it ourselves, even if we don't have government struct structuring it for us. Hmm. Hmm. We have to because, come to think about it, we are aging and the new era is the new age sound is coming. Yeah. And the new age will soon come as well, and the new age yeah, will soon come, come again. again. Hmm. Trend is one thing you can't stop. Hmm. So it's it's a foundation that we've started and we really need to yeah you know stabilize the whole thing mm. and make it easy for some other future generations to tap mm. yeah to tap from the conga island <laughs> <laughs> how they tell you mm. but to be honest with you that's what it is wow that's what it is that's what it was and i will this is this is one of the bigger dreams that i will love to see Mm. I come now, come to think about it. I said before, we really the dance to the Western sound. Yeah. Now, now Western West sound. Now, now, yeah. now they can't do without us yeah. in the Western sound. Yeah. So what is that telling you? What is that telling you? Mm. You've you've gone. We've we've done. We've done. We've done. We've we've gone. We've we've. we've, we've oh Amen. We've gone this far. We, we see, look at look at look at where we are. Look at. The all the other them Jay Z looking at, you know, tapping into one or two talent. Yeah. You know, yeah. trying to you know. Yeah. What does that tell you? Diddy is crazy about Bonner. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> me, I, me, I know Bonner. this day will come within mm. this time. Two th and then twenty uh, uh, revolutionary time. Mm. Now revolutionary time it is. I knew a day like this will come. Now big ups to Bonner. A guy like me, like, now the guy not like me, you know they give up, you know they agree. <laughs> you have to go all the way again, all the way again, and that. yeah, 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 yeah. That's the point. You have to once once you you play your cards and you are not really getting it right. Go back, reshuffle, and replan, strategize. Trust me. Hmm. Yeah, you can always fall, but you can always stand up. Let me go back to Baby Conga. Go back now. How did you? Yeah, okay. I'll go forward. When when um, at what point do you know that this is a hit song? Okay. I was um I used I'm a street stylist. <laughs> I used to rap. My rap is similarly like that green. Similarly. Mm -hmm. I used to rap Yoruba indigenous rap before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I know. I, and I remember that come on. And I, most of the battles that I've been to, I don't really do baby conga. I wrote baby conga in a booty metal. That was um I was actually in a barber shop. The guy's name is Porsche and not too far from my house hmm. so guess what i wrote this song during the season of abasha i mean abasha sorry is it abasha mk will be your last death yes wow yes that season few weeks after that season actually motivates me to write that song to be honest with you hmm. you know why Excuse me. As a young youth growing up, I felt my town, my town, Lagos as a whole, I'm a town boy. I used to help my grandma, I may mean, still rest in perfect peace. Alaja I used to help her, you know, when I'm when I'm done, I used to school on the island, you know. So I had to I had to go and help her, make sure I set up the shop for her before I'll be there by six o'clock. I've set up the shop before seven o'clock. In Jankara, I have to make sure I meet up with school mm. before eight o'clock, and I'm already looking very dusty. All my white t-shirts already dirty, so somehow, somewhere, I need to make it to school with my tie. Then that was in Government College Koi. I'll trek or any wish we had to try to get there. Then, um, then I have to make sure I meet up the classes and sign up. So what am I trying to say in a nutshell? Mainland lifestyle has been part of me. So during that era when MK Abiola died, there was no fun activity again. Everything died down. There were so many sorrows in the town. Mm. There were so many angry, so many. So as a young youth, I felt, what can I do? Mm. I, used to, I used to write poems. I used to write movies in my own. I used to write a cartoon-like visionary person. Hmm. Yes, I still intend to, you know, 
go through my cartoon book and do something because there is no major cartoon stuff network in Nigeria. I'm tired. <laughs> being honest with you, that guy should come. Let's do business. <laughs> Honestly, man. So I used to create. I used to draw. I'm also an artist. I draw as an mm. artist. I draw. I conceptualize. So and I was like, what can I do? So I was just at the barber shop and I started singing that song. I didn't even know I can sing. Hmm. It was one of my friends that motivates me that I can sing. They used to do freestyle at the back of one of my friend's house. So luckily I ran into them. They were not playing only instrumental, Western instrumental. I just jumped on it. Ah, come, I can do this thing. I just started. I can't forget my first line of my rap. I can't. Let's I go. used to be a good dreamer. Uh, okay, I used to be a good dreamer. Always dreaming about millions, not the big chances. Dreaming in the city, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. So, so I'm like, everybody was just shouting, eh, mm, eh, just don't do what you are doing, eh, eh, eh. So before I could even finish, they were like, oh shit. <laughs> so this is in me, and I didn't know. So I, I went for an exam in Lorry in Bodoroko, that was a total village. Mm. There was, you know, a Lagos boy, a city boy coming to a village, mm. you know. So towards the, there was a party. So I now realized that they don't even know how to plan parties. You know, normal village activities. Yeah. So um, I think it's, it's in a charm, I went for an exam. So when I get in to help them set up and and I found out that I end up being, I mean, in the end, I end up being the DJ, of the, the MC, <laughs> and the musician of the party. Oh, yeah. Honestly, oh, this oh. is a true life story. People, I mean, like, they, wow. they'll tell it as a true life story. So that was when I, 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 I end up rapping DMX that day. Okay. This incident was before me getting to know I can actually rap. Oh, okay. So... That was when, and I said, okay, come, I can actually sing. I've seen some some stages that I can sing. Mm. So, and I badged into it. My first song, I wrote my first song, and one of my closest friends was trying to snatch the song from me. Like, I featured him on the song, and like, like, okay, don't worry, I'll give it to you. Then I went back to the studio again. That was what gave back to Baby Conga. Wow. That's my life. So how did you know, know it's a hit song? Okay, how I know it, how I knew, how, 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 okay. I was in, I was, okay, I was about to flip again. So I was about doing the show, that do show, street show, because yeah. I used to pull up on events. I was the first person to pull up a fashion show, a street fashion show, Cosby Collections. Hmm. Cosby Collection is now in USA as we speak hmm. and is one of the top um, fashion designer in America as we speak. Yeah. I used to do the, I used to do the, I used to do the, after my show I now start picturing how I can be able to um, be educating some, because not everybody really, you can, you know, I can use my musical career to educate people by you know like when people see an accident they'll be like ah yeah um, ah, um, mm. Oh. Mm. instead of you to do the first aid and help him or her out yeah. the situation mm -hmm. they'll be like oh yeah so when people go and carry camera ah yeah um, ah, <laughs> I'm like what so I start I start using that don't show event to use as an avenue to treat, teach people how to do first aid mm. how to you know during that era, some of my fans now run to me and say, Do you know say you say you know say you don't blow? Huh? I say What do you mean? As in me understand. They go, they now went to go and pack some CDs, Alaba CDs. My songs is on all the compilations. Guess what? They now wrote Conga Boys. <laughs> oh, oh my name is Jobless. 